an appeal has gone out to the Imo state government and the federal government of Nigeria to step in urgently to stop the massive killing of youths in Imo state by the Nigerian security forces. The chairperson of Himo Women for Peace and Good Leadership Initiative, Ugochi Ugwo, made the appeal in a press release personally signed by her and her director of operation, Ezine Chinyere Okereri Afo, and made available to media organizations. In the press release, the group expressed serious concern over what is called the unending incessant killing of Imo youths by Nigerian security forces in a gruesome manner, suggesting that no value is attached to human lives anymore. They worry that the government has been carried in you know, the battle to the hinterland. Imo state, which was once regarded as the most peaceful state, has suddenly turned into a, f a killing field with the killing of policemen, burning of police stations, INEC offices by unknown gunmen, as well as mauling down of youths by soldiers and the incessant whistling away of young men who reportedly are not seen thereafter. In our words, Ugochi Ugo stated, We are shocking at the level of carnage with which lives of innocent youth are taken away in their prime denying parents and the nations their productive capacity. As mothers, we are also emotionally tortured and killed seeing our children wasted in such manner as if their lives no longer matter. Things have gone so bad for so long as if no one is in charge, but we don't want to believe that. Rather, we will accept the, you know, the situation as one of the most trying moments in our national life. We do not subscribe to the fact that killing is the surest response to challenges because we also know that you cannot you know, quench fire with fire. These killings must please stop because it is slowly, it is killing us slowly, she stated. The woman also expressed shock over the silence of Imo stakeholders, wondering why the church, traditional institution, the labor union, town unions, professionals, and elites in the state have carried on as if all is well. They taxed the leadership of each group to rise up to the challenges to stop the increase, you know, increasing violence in the state. According to the group, it will be our joy if the authorities can roll back the soldiers and focus on the duty of protecting lives and properties and providing good governance, the group stated. Ogochi Ogwa further called on the youth to further refrain from whatever actions that is provoking the soldiers to go after them, advising them to remain law-abiding. Austin Ikeru is a professional blogger, YouTuber, entrepreneur, and the CEO of Austin Media. He is a graduate of mass communication from Enugu State University of Science and Technology. In this blog, he profile biography, news, and top list compilation. You can follow him on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But the main point here is all these incessant killings has to stop. What is your thought about what has been said? What is your own thought about this? We need to stop the killing of our children. That is what the Imo women are begging Buhari's government. They are saying we need to stop the killings of our children. With the way our children are being killed, it's as if there's nobody in charge in Nigeria, but we don't want to believe that. What is your thought about this? These killings of people is so painful. It's so painful because nobody wants to die. Nobody will watch his or her son or daughter you know, being killed. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to share your thought with us on what has been said. I'd like you to share your own point of view and reaction with us on this. According to the news, an appeal has gone out to the Imo state government and the federal government of Nigeria to step in urgently to stop the massive killing of youth in Imo state by the Nigerian security forces. The chairperson of Imo Women for Peaceful and Good Leadership Initiative made the appeal in a press release personally signed by her and her director of operation, 
and made available to media organization you know so many steps have been carried to stop incessant killing in nigeria but you know it has proved abortive you know series of meetings has been held but there have not been positive results about the present situation of things in nigeria series of roundtable meeting has been held there's no positive results we just hope that something will be done urgently concerning the incessant killing in nigeria because our youth are dying and it is said that the youth are the future of tomorrow in this country now if we finish killing the youth now then who will be the leaders of tomorrow we hope that the appeal that has gone out to the Imo state government and the federal government of Nigeria to step in urgently to stop the massive killing of the youth in Imo state by the Nigerian security forces will yield positive results and we will have a peaceful Nigeria of which we have been you know, hoping for and we have been longing for. Imo state has now become the battlefield. It has now become the, you know, a killing field. Imo state of which was known and once regarded as the most peaceful you know peaceful state has suddenly turned into a feed you know a killing feed which you know killings has been taking place with the killings of policemen burning of you know police stations and offices being burnt so many police headquarters have been raised down what is happening in nigeria what is your thought about this who would like you to drop your thought and comment on this present situation of things many parents are going through emotional torture and killing you know seeing their own children being wasted in such a manner as if there's no life you know in them as if there's no life in people who have been killed this is uncalled for mothers have been through so much emotional torture seeing their own children being killed by security agencies in such a manner that as you know that is uncalled for what is your thought about this we just hope something will be done urgently to stop the killing of our children in this country because women have started to beg the government women are begging the federal government to look into it they are urging them to urgently step in to stop the massive killing of youth in emo states by the nigerian security forces why would they always kill the youth what if these youth being killed are innocent what if they are not guilty of the you know offenses alleged against them what is your thought about this i'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this that has been said I'd like you to share your own point of view concerning the present situation don't forget that an appeal has gone out to the emo state government and the federal government you know of nigeria to step in urgently to stop the massive killing of youth in emo state by the nigerian security forces thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now